cherish your rights as a citizen. <laughs> Assist in law enforcement. <laughs> no ism, but patriotism. That's one reason I picked this neck of the wood. Why, these hicks, they all eat up that lodge stuff. Sure. <laughs> You're right, Moore. Even this little book that'll coin money for us. Cost two cents, sale price, four bucks. <laughs> <laughs> but don't forget about the costumes, Henderson. Ten cents for this, a dollar for a sheet. We dob on a little paint and cut a couple of slits for eyes. And the suckers fork over ten spackers. <laughs> <laughs> well, the booklets and costumes, they're all right, but that's two-bit stuff. Here's the real reason we're in Cactus Creek. What is it? Tin ore. Take a look at it, Titus. Mm. Mm. Up to now, this country's had to import practically all of its tin from the East Indies. But not anymore. From all signs, the tin deposits in this county alone will be the richest in the world. And in a couple of weeks, we'll have a title to every piece of land that contains that ore. Is that why you're buying up all the ranches? That's right. And I'm not through buying yet. Suppose the ranchers catch on. What, those dumbbells? Now, would any of them connect Ernest Moore, head of the League of Patriots, with such a contemptible racket? <laughs> <laughs> I think that calls for a drink, Titus. You're right. <laughs> you double-crossing cheat. You fake patriot. I know all about your crooked scheme, I... Why, Mr. Gorham, what are you talking about? You and your flag-waving. It's all a trick to get our land away from us. You've worked it in other places. A friend of mine in Dallas. Why would I want your ranches? I'm not a farmer. No, you're a swindler. Now I know why Joe Welch was murdered last month. And then you bought his property for a song from his widow. Why, hanging's too good for you and your gang using patriotisms to cover up your crimes. Now, Gorham, aren't you jumping at conclusions? I can prove every word I say. And tomorrow morning, just as soon as it's light, I'm going to tell every rancher in this valley just what you're doing. And wait till they hear about you, too. Henderson, the respectable banker, hanging around with thieves and cutthroats. I'll help ride you out of town on a rail. weeks I'm standing pat. No League of Patriots for me. But your foreman is one of our most loyal members. Art's a fine boy. He's going to marry my daughter. But that's no sign we agree on everything. If Art feels your League is going to help him make a better citizen of himself, that's okay by me. But I don't feel that I need it. But Mr. Adams, as a good citizen, it's up to you to help curb the crime in this community. We've got law here now, and it suits me. What about patriotism? You know, these are very vital times. People don't understand what patriotism is. The League will help them learn. What's your angle on all this? Angle? Well, I have no angle, Mr. Adams. I merely want to help the community in which I live and serve my native land. We need you, don't you understand? You're respected now by your neighbors, but you'll be an outcast if you stay out of the League. I reckon not. Now I don't aim to rush you, Mr. Moore, but, well, I've got John Gorham's papers to go through. Gorham, huh? The law that you seem so satisfied with now didn't keep him from being murdered, did it? I sent for Marshal Trigger Tim Rand. I reckon he can handle things. Okay. But if you ever change your mind... That day won't ever come. Well, by the way, uh, who is Gorham's heir? I've been uh, sort of interested in his property. You know, it's high and dry and seems to be a likely spot for a health farm. I haven't found a will yet. Maybe Banker Henderson would know. All right, I'll ask him when I see him. Good day, Mr. Adams. Good day, sir.
got him with one shot. Trigger Tim Rand ain't a problem anymore. Good work, Titus. Yes, I've been plenty upset since I heard Adam sent for him. He's the cleverest range detective in the Southwest. You mean he was? Well, say, I picked this up on Adam's place. I was coming from there when I spotted Rand. Say, that's the richest sample we've had yet. None of the other ranches, not even Gorham's place, showed any signs like that. The heart of the vein must run right through Sam Adams' place. If I could only get that old moss back to join the league... You'll never do it. Well, maybe it can be worked through art. Oh, he's only the foreman. He wouldn't be if he'd marry Margie Adams. Just suppose old Sam Adams met with an accident. And uh, Art marries the girl. Exactly. The Broken Bar A Ranch would be ours the next day. Art Davis will do anything I tell him to. I've got him right where I want him. It's a good thing it wasn't a couple of inches lower. Well, I played dead till I couldn't hear his horse any longer. But I can't figure out who'd want to take a shot at me or why. Somebody who don't want you looking into John Gorham's disappearance. Hey, look at this, everybody. Letters from a dozen cities. Chicago, St. Louis, San Antonio. Here's one from... Marshal Rand! Boy, am I glad to see you. Hey, look, you've just got to do something about Art. What's the matter with Art? You two have a fight? It's the worst thing that ever happened to the band. We've got a chance at a national radio. Now, wait a minute. Tell me calmly, what's this all about? Art's so wrapped up in the League of Patriots, you don't have time for much else. What's the League of Patriots? A new outfit in town, run by an hombre named Moore. What's its object? Moore says it's to promote citizenship and law enforcement. But when he talks to me, I got a feeling he's thinking entirely different. Well, how does he intend to accomplish all this? Search me. All he seems to do is to hold lodge meetings and try to buy all the ranches around here. Hmm. Is he going in the cow business? He's got a health farm bee in his bonnet and a youth camp and some other civic enterprises. He keeps Art so busy, I can't get him to sign a swell radio contract we've been offered. I suppose Art's at the meeting now, eh? He's there every night. I think I'll just ride into town and look him up. You mind if I go along? No, we're glad to have you. Load on the steam, Marshal. We're due to start broadcasting in three days. <laughs> Don't worry, Buzz. why I say to you, men of the League of Patriots, no sacrifice is too great to accomplish this end. Patriotism, that is our watchword. One for all and all for one. You take that one and I'll go around the back and we'll see what we can see. Gentlemen, is the purpose of this organization. Good night and thank you. That speech was great, Mr. Moore. Well, thank you, my boy. Maybe you want to go out and do things. That's the spirit, Art. High ideals always inspire right thinking men to want to go. What hit you? A 
my horse stumbled and fell. Uh, oh, Art, uh, you better call around to my office tomorrow afternoon, and I'll explain the work of the junior officer to you. Well, sure, Mr. Moore. Don't worry about him. He'll be all right when he has a couple of drinks under his belt. <laughs> Come on, Titus. You need something on that cut. Come on in here now. Tell me what really happened. Well, it was Adams. He was peeping in your window outside. Spying on us, huh? Yeah. There was someone else with him. I couldn't see who it was. But could he hit? What shall we do? Get rid of Adams. Oh, I. If he gets anything on us, he'll turn hard against us. Then we'll lose our chance of getting the ranch. Don't forget the tin. And Henderson. I want you to take these and put them in the bank vault. Until Adams is taken care of, I don't want these land deeds or these ore samples around this office. What's your plan? Listen. Tomorrow morning, you ride out of town. There's Art. Well, I'll put up your horse. I'll see you in the morning. You can just as well stay here, Tim. I think I'll stay over at the old castle. Then I won't be so conspicuous. Marshal Rand. Hello, Art. How's the boy? Sam was tired. So I'm going to put his horse away for him. Well, tell me, Tim, what brings you back here? John Gorham's disappearance. Yeah, we're all pretty much broken up about that. But the league's on the job. Yes, I've been hearing about this league. Well, gee, isn't it great, Tim? It's not only a privilege to be a citizen, it's a glorious responsibility. You've been working pretty hard on this league, haven't you? Yes, sir, every minute that I can spare away from the ranch work. What about your band? Has Buzz been talking to you? Well, he said something about a radio contract. What about it? Well, Tim, I don't have time. My league work is important. Bringing happiness to people is about as important a thing as you can do in life, Art. Well, I reckon their safety comes first. That's my job. Yeah, but you're never here at town. The league's permanent, and besides, there's too much crime for one man to handle. I was counting on you to help me. Well, I'll help all I can, I promise. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Just CQ me. It's what? CQ, that's the short wave signal. You see, Buzz and I both have one. Sending and receiving set. Well, you can tell me about that some other time. If I don't... If I don't get to the bunk right now, I'm going to go to sleep on my feet. Well, look, Stan, you're not sore about me in the league, are you? No. Just curious. Well, when is notice, that way? From here on, it's Gorham's place. You know, Sam Adams told me that Mr. Moore was trying to buy this place. I wonder why. Doesn't look like the site for a health farm to me. And the cattle I know don't eat rocks. Let's take a look at the ranch house anyway. Hmm. See those prints? See, those are all alike. They all have that same long looping world. Mm -hmm. Now, they must belong to Gorham because I found some others that match them in the bedroom and the kitchen.
Everything has been burned here recently now. Hmm, what's this? Looks like a piece of suspender. Maybe an old belt. Wish Sam was here. He'd be able to tell us whether Guar was in the habit of burning a lot of refuse in this fireplace or not. fireplace of a bullet having been fired into it. You know what I think? There. Come on, let me get you in the house. You make it? Yeah. Come on. Easy. If you don't get that out, it's going to get infected. Think you can stand it? Sure, go ahead. Him, eh? I didn't even get a good look at his horse. I ain't surprised exactly. I've been figuring it was near time for something to happen to me. How are you feeling, Mr. Adams? Oh, I'm all right. Look at this bullet I dug out of his shoulder. I'm going to hang on to it, too. Why? To see if it matches that one I took out of the fireplace. Thinking right all right, Sam? Oh, yes, I'll be all right. And aren't you better take him around home? Aren't you going long? Not till I look around this ranch a little more. Two thousand and six, two thousand and seven, two thousand and eight, two thousand and nine, two thousand and ten. Why didn't I bring an adding machine? I think it's wonderful, all these people riding into Art in the band. What's wonderful about it? Art is so pig-headed. He isn't. He has a duty to his community. Well, what about his duty to the band? Oh, when I think of the dough we're not going to make. Two thousand and eleven, two thousand and... It's Dad! Something's wrong! Dad, you're hurt! It's only a shoulder wound, honey. Well, who? What? Get out! Who did it? I wish I knew. Well, wait a minute. Where are you going? Town. Well, but you can't. I want to hear that song. Look, Art, I've got the contract and everything. I'm sorry, Buzz. No. He's sorry. Four million people waiting to hear him sing, and... He's sorry. That's the... But I tell you, he couldn't have seen me. I was too far away. I told you I didn't want any witnesses. Well, I didn't know Art was around. Now, 
Get in that storeroom. I want him to see you. with you in a minute. Where's Titus? What's the matter? What's happened? Sam Adams has been shot. Sam Adams? Is he dead? No, I chased the gunman and he looked something like Titus. Where did this happen? The Gorham place. Oh, well, then it couldn't have been Titus. I sent him to Alta Mesa early this morning. That's the opposite direction. Well, he could have swung around that way. Well, I didn't think for a minute that you had anything to do with it, Mr. Moore, but Titus might be double crossed. That's impossible. Ray Titus is absolutely dependable. Here's the ropes and things. Howdy, Art. Man, was it hot and out of Mesa today? Art thinks you've been out shooting Sam Adams. Why well, I haven't been near Gorham's place. You see, I stopped by the bank, and uh, Henderson told me about the shooting. He'll be easy. You fool, you've started something now. Get Henderson over here. We've got to work fast. Well, Mr. Moore couldn't have had anything to do with it, Tim. He's a fine man with high ideas. Yeah, I don't doubt it, but tell me what you do. You head back to the ranch and keep your eye on Sam. We'll know by tomorrow morning whether Titus is innocent or not. We found Gorm's fireplace. This one I dug out of Sam's shoulder. 
And that's the one that was fired at me by Titus last night. There couldn't be a mistake, could there, Tim? Not a chance. Are you going to arrest them now? I'm going after Titus. Well, now, Moore's all right. I know that. But putting Titus in jail is too easy on him. I'll tend to him myself. Now, wait a minute, Arnie. Hey, come back here. Now, you wait here, bud. I can handle this better alone. It must have been Tim Rand. Nobody else would think of pulling a stunt like that. Well, do you think he did it just to get a bullet from my gun? Why, of course he did. He's pretty... You shot Sam Adams. But where's your proof, Art? You've got to have proof. I've got it. Will you come clean and tell me why you shot him or I'll drill you? Well, I didn't shoot him. I'm counting three. One, two, three. This is the law's business, Art. Nice work, Marshal. Pick up your gun. You come along with me. What are you taking me in for? He was trying to shoot me. Arresting you for the murder of John Gorham and the attempted murder of Sam Adams. Come along. on American's Coast to Coast Network. First broadcast tomorrow. And from the Adams Ranch. Oh, the boys will be glad, won't they? And our listeners, do you know that we have 5,000 fan letters? You're leaving? Yeah, I'm to meet Tim at the jail. Well, but, but, but we got to rehearse. I'll be back for sundown. Now, don't be surprised at anything I say. No use, Marshal. I'm still not talking. Well, I am. I've just left more. I know all about John Gorham's death. <laughs> That's an old trick, Rand. You think so? I know that you crept up to Gorham's window and shot him. The bullet passed through him and landed in the fireplace where you burned his clothes. And you buried his body in the woods. I did it because Moore ordered it. If I'm going to swing, he's going to swing with me. He planned every bit of it. Can you prove it? Yeah. Oh, he's only trying to save his own skin. And after all, Mr. Moore's done for you. Oh, shut up and get out. I've got to think. Well, whenever you're ready to tell the whole truth, let me know, Titus. I'll be waiting. Come on, Art. You still think Moore isn't in on these crimes? He hasn't any motive. Does Titus? Then why didn't you tell me that you'd found John Gorham's body? Because I haven't. That was just a stab in the dark and it worked. Remember those fingerprints we found at Gorham's house? Yeah. I checked Titus with them. They matches one set perfectly. The other set I haven't been able to identify. You mean more? Well, I don't know, but if I get a hold of his fingerprints and they match the set that I have, would you be convinced then that he's mixed up in these shootings? Well, I don't know, Tim. Well, suppose I could give you a very strong motive. I suppose I have to. Will you and Buzz help? Well, sure. All right, come on, let's find Buzz. Is that you, boys? Yes. Yeah. More fell apart like a ton of bricks. He doesn't act like a crook. I told him it would be statewide. It's a shame if he's all right. Oh, now, wait a minute, one thing at a time. Moore promised to be at the broadcast. Did he be ready at 8 30? Will Henderson be there with him? Well, he said he would. I'm going to sing, and it's a shame to waste this singing on a fake broadcast. Well, it's the only way I get Moore's fingerprints. I'll be careful of that mic after he's handled it. Right. Now, if you keep those fellows busy for an hour, that'll give me time to finish my job. That's all I ask.
Art, my boy, you're responsible for this marvelous opportunity. The League is overwhelmingly indebted to you. Well, after what Titus did, I thought that you... I know, I know how you feel, my boy. Just to think, Ray Titus, of all people, should betray my faith. Ten seconds to air time. And a good, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. WNX is honored tonight to bring you a special feature, sponsored by the League of Patriots. Opening our program this evening is uh, Mr. Art Davis, gifted cowboy singer and composer. Art will sing one of his own compositions entitled... The West is Always Ready. Sites. We're all for one and one for all to keep this bill of rights. Let's remember General Custer, it won't take us long to muster. The West is always ready if it comes. Anti-patriots, we will chase them, in the who's gal we will place them. The West is always ready if it comes. Every Tommy Hawk and Indian, they all share the same opinion. The West is always ready if it comes. Say the Martins and the Coys all heard the call of Uncle Sam. They put aside their feuding and they're with us in this jam. If there's anyone who attacks us, we have plenty here to back us. Yes, the rest is always ready if it comes. Prairie Patriots, let's all bolster with a six-gun in each holster. The West is always ready if it comes. Any foe who thinks they're smarty, they will join the necktie party. The West is always ready if it comes. We'll fight just like the pioneers who were so strong and brave. We'll fight to save this strip of land that our forefathers gave. Yes, when the call of men is needed, we'll show them some stampede. The West is always ready if it comes. It will only be Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
gentlemen, I'm sure you will all be interested in hearing from the man who is responsible for the great patriotic work being done in the state. It gives me utmost pleasure to present to you Mr. Ernest Moore, president and founder of the League of Patriots. Mr. Moore. Thank you, Mr. Weston. <clears throat> and good evening, uh, ladies and gentlemen of the radio audience. I am uh, deeply gratified to have the opportunity of telling you of the aims and ideals of the League of Patriots. No longer do we walk blindly in the dark. Tim, I understand about the fingerprints matching up, but what does all this mean? It means that Moore and his outfit have got something up their sleeves besides health farms. Report to the assay office and tell us exactly what their racket is. We're here. Goro. Lane. He's found shot six weeks ago. Here's Wiley. He left town overnight without a word to anybody. Now Moore owns every one of those ranches. What do we do next? Well, we're going to bait the hook for Mr. Moore. Give me these. down the hall. I'm not interested in them. Let Titus worry about that. Huh. Looks like Moore's been here. Sure. Anderson probably told him about that burglary. Well, they got their ore samples back and the deep, too. We're going to have to spring that trap today, Arthur. 
Okay, but don't you tell Buzz because I'm supposed to broadcast at five o'clock. Oh, you'll make it all right. Let's put this place in order. All right. Marshal Rand doesn't think Titus lied. He's on his way out to Gorham Woods now, and he's going to arrest you the minute he gets back. Now, I know that you're not guilty, Mr. Moore. You couldn't be. Well, thank you, my boy. That's why I came to warn you. Now, the best trail out of town is north. And I'll work night and day to prove your innocence, Mr. Moore. We can't let the league fail now. That's very nice of you, Art. Adios. Adios, sir. A fine boy and a loyal friend. That boy's faith in you as well is magnificent. That's a lot of bunk. Can't you see it was all faked? Tim Rand put him up to that to call my hand. All right, I'm seeing him, but not the way he's expecting it. I don't get it. Rand expects me to make a break for it. And I will, but I'll take Titus with me. I'm not leaving him here to hang me with a confession. The jail. Rand's probably there. I'll take care of that, too. Lefty! Swift! Come here. Squint, I want you to pack those saddlebags. We're traveling. Lefty, round up Brad and the other boys. I think I've got an idea how to get Marshal Tim Rand out of town. Now, more will probably try to break Titus out of this jail. But whatever I do or wherever I go, don't you follow me. You stay right here and keep your eye on it. If I've got more sized up right, he would try to figure some way to get me out of town. And I'll play his game, that is for a little while. But you just keep in touch with Buzz on that shortwave set of yours there. I'll contact him and let him know what road Moore's gang takes. And whatever you do, don't try to capture this outfit single-handed. You're due to broadcast in a couple of hours. Okay, Tim. The fun started already, Art. Well, good luck, fella. Hold it, you fellas! All right, boys, let's try it again. Riding the Texas Trail. One, two. Hold it. Get that radio set working. Art's due to call in any minute. Watch the back. Take it easy, Bill. Oh, so it's you more. Time up. Gee, am I glad to see you more. You think I desert you? Here. Come on, let's get out of here.
Pfeiffer. Hold it. Get his horse. All right, turn around. Get moving. Look what I found sneaking around well, back. Wait a minute. He's worth more to us alive. You won't get away at this, Moore. Come on, bring him along. Get on your horse. Sure that set's working, Buzz? Art should have called in before this. It's working. WXBW calling WXAD. WXBW calling WXAD. Come in, WXAD. No, sir. Well, that's funny. Moore must have made a move by now. Keep trying. WXBW calling WXAD. WXBW calling WXAD. Hold it! We'll split it three forks and meet across the border tomorrow night. Well, what about me? Oh, shut up! Let him alone, will you? I'm handling him in my own way. Yeah, you figured on collecting the ransom and keeping it for yourself. What do you mean? I'm no double-crosser. That's what you say. CQ, CQ, Mayday, 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 Mayday! What's the matter with you going crazy? Lay off of him, will you? At least till we get across the border. That's all right. Sounds like he's in trouble. I'll say he's in trouble. Looks as though more in the gang have got him. Listen, more if you're asking me to get across the border, you're heading the wrong way. You should take the Indian head trail. We're on the Indian head trail. And who's asking you? Now, one more peep out of you, and I'm going to let you have it. Come on, let's get going. We've got to get across the border before dark. CQ, 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 Mayday, Mayday, CQ, CQ, Mayday. Wait, wait a minute. A radio. Oh, you've been sending signals, have you? Yes, it's a short wave set. Time to the saddle. So they're heading for the border through Indian Head Trail, eh? Well, I'll be there to meet them. You keep that thing tuned in. I'll get a posse. Good.
Well, you beat it for the ranch as fast as you can. You have gone the air in a half hour. Thanks, Tim. I didn't think you'd make it. Well, get away, fella. Rizzy, where is he? Where is he? Why doesn't he come? You know, Marge, everything happens to me. Art, are you all right? Yeah, I'm all right. Cut the chatter, cut the chatter. we got five minutes air time. Marge, go round up the boys. Art, adjust that mic. Just fine. 